Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Gemini, the relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with this relationship. I don't think this one is going to be long, guys, but you never know. You know, I hope we see that. And then it turns into like 50 minutes or something like that. So we're going to see what's going on in this relationship, guys. Social media, please join me, Wacky Mo, W-A-C-K-Y-M-O-E on Twitter and Zen Romance Tarot on Twitter. You guys are more than welcome to join me. I want to hear all your stories. I love all the reads, you know, stuff like that. So if you guys are readers, I'm posting. Um, yeah, feel free to join me. Um, and I'm so happy that you guys are praying with me, all right? Because this has been a battle, still a battle, and I'm in it, and I'm going to deal with it. I'm dealing with it the best I can, so I want to thank you guys so much for all your support, all right? You guys know I've been through it, and I know you guys been through it too, so I am here praying also. I'm trying to get into a better place in my life, and I hope you guys are too. We're going to go ahead and get into it, guys. I did pull individual energy for Scorpio. I also pulled individual energy for Gemini, and then we're going to go ahead and take a look at you guys as a couple. I'm not really doing things different, but I, I'm not really. I mean, it's a little different, but not really. It's the same thing, kind of, but just some different cards. Uh, give me the main energy, please, for Scorpio in this relationship with Gemini. Scorpio, your energy in this relationship, guys. Please remember, this is not going to be every Scorpio-Gemini couple, right? I do have a playlist for each. I have a... Gemini relationship playlist and I have a Scorpio. I have tons of Scorpio pl playlists, right? Because I'm a Scorpio reader and my channel started off initially, it was supposed to be Scorpio, but it really didn't turn out that way. I said to myself, I cannot do Scorpio every day. I am here to help everybody, not just Scorpio. So I decided to venge off and do all everybody and I did. And that's where we are now. So Scorpio, I'm going to need your energy, please. Two minutes and 13 seconds is when it start actually, when the read starts. <laughs> Not that I'm going to remember that, but anyway. Scorpio, what's going on? What is your main concern right now? What is the main concern? Scorpio, unexpected income. Some of you guys are expecting income. I feel like with some of you guys, you have been putting your foot in something, right? Projects. Um, I don't know, whatever it is you're doing. Something having to do with work. Something having to do with an artistic pursuit, perhaps. Just something that you guys are into. So I feel like you guys have been working on something. Some of you guys have not partnered with other people because I see a two here. I also see something where something for you, Scorpio, has not completed just yet. You're not done. I also see where Scorpio is not feeling whole in this situation because they feel like they've been cheated in a sense, right? They've been cheated out of something or there's some unexpected income or I'm going to say it's not unexpected. I'm going to read them how I read them. I'm going to say Scorpio is expecting some income because Scorpio put the work in to do something and it looks like it didn't come through for whatever reasons, okay? Now, Gemini, I'm going to need your main energy. What are you focused on, please? Just so I can reference this card throughout the read until I actually get to you. Gemini, false person. Some of you guys are fighting off being called a false person or some of you guys are questioning, is this person a real person? Somebody might be saying you're a false person, but um, it's saying that you may not be, all right? Or this might be your thoughts on something, but false person. Or Gemini, you don't want anybody to know that you're a false person or somebody false got to you, whatever that is, all right? Let's take a look and see what is going on. What are the cards I want to pull next? I think, I think I'm going to pull love. All right, we're going to pull love here. I'm going to pull love. Uh, just in efforts to save time. So the energy here, unexpected income, Scorpio, give me your energy in this relationship, please. I'm going to actually pull this up a little bit more. I'm being very careful over here, guys. Very careful. Limited space. It's not that I have limited space. It's just the way the equipment is set up. And you guys know my situation. So I'm working with really old equipment, right? See, sometimes the devil wants to stop you from investing in your business when the devil gets jealous or whatever's going on. So... What you do when you're giving lemon, you make lemonade, right? Ain't that what they say? That's what I always said. Well, you know, people steal that too. I mean, but didn't we all get that from somewhere? Scorpio, give me your... Okay, we got it. Scorpio, very soon. Scorpio, you need to clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. It could be reference in this relationship. Maybe you guys feel like this relationship is not going the way you want it to. Scorpio is saying, I deserve love. Yes, Scorpio. 
You are lovable. I feel like you guys are really hard workers in a sense. And I want to be very clear. It feels like so far, it feels like I'm talking to a high vibe in Scorpio. There are some low vibers out there, right? And the read could bring out some aspects of that. But it really looks like you guys have a decision that needs to be made. You guys need to decide what you want in this relationship, in this situation with Gemini, whether it be a relationship whether it be a partnership, there's something where you need to know, Scorpio, yes, you do deserve love. You do. All right. So very soon decide what you want, because I feel like you guys are getting the crap into the stick. And I feel like you guys are like, I deserve love. I don't deserve to be treated like this. I didn't do anything to, to warrant this. Right. So we have that coming up. All right. Give me more. <sighs> maybe Scorpio, maybe people made you feel like you weren't lovable. Maybe people did all types of stuff to you. Right? And then they tried to justify it. Whatever. I'm not even going to go there tonight. I'm not. Give me more for Scorpio. Let go of control issues. Scorpio, it feels like you've let go. Right? Some of us have to give up everything. Right? In order to get what it is you deserve, sometimes you have to give up the things that are right there before you that don't make any sense. It could be a relationship where you're not being treated fairly. All right? I feel like this is Scorpio's perception of this relationship right now, something about a perception. All right. So we have that that comes up and let me, I'm going to put this over here. I don't really like that. Hold on y'all. Sorry. I'm a little particular. I apologize. And that's so ugly. Oh my goodness. That is so annoying. Oh, oh my goodness. Y'all. I know y'all like girl, every read. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let go of control issues. Scorpio, I feel like you have let go. I feel like you letting go of some situation, even when it comes to money, these things are going to come to you, right? Because everything is going to work out the way it's supposed to. Meanwhile, yes, you deserve love. You do need to make a decision. Some of you guys need to let some folks go. You need to let this relationship go. Some of you guys need to let old ways go. There's something that you need to let go of. And I feel like, guys, I feel like you guys have surrendered because it says you let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Now, for some of you guys, maybe you're not letting go of control. All right? The cards are saying, let something unfold naturally. It could be in this relationship. Whatever you're trying to get to play out, I feel like you guys, it's going to happen, but you guys have to relinquish control. And I know that's hard for everybody. Like, it's hard when you don't, you know, and you guys have to understand too, We've been doing these, these reads for a long time and it continues to say that somebody is concealing or withholding information from Scorpio. So this is being done on purpose. I don't want to hurt anybody. I just want you to know that whoever's doing this nonsense, they're doing it on purpose. They're purposely trying to make you feel like you don't deserve love, purposely withholding your income, Scorpio, right? Somebody's not giving you your money. Mm. So Scorpio is about the bread. They're like, where's my money? Gemini, let's see what's going on. Why is false person coming up under you? Why is Gemini here taking no action? Because at one point when you were a false person, you were taking all types of action. It says now that you are not taking any action towards something, right? It says here that there is no movement. There's not going to be any change for you because somebody acted as a false person. I feel like somebody's been stalled. Somebody can't do something anymore. Gemini. It is safe for you to love. The cards are saying maybe now is not the time for you to love anybody, right? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Gemini, I am showing that some of you guys have a closed heart and you're acting as a false person. Maybe you guys are trying to relinquish this. Maybe you guys are trying to work on your shadow. But it says something here about you guys needing to open up your heart. I feel like you're dealing with a closed heart, right? So you have a Scorpio out here who's like, I deserve love. And then you... You won't open your heart to Scorpio, right? You're being a false person to Scorpio. Or in some cases, some of you guys are being straight up about what it is. Like, yeah, I'm false and I'm not hiding it, right? Something like that. Give me more. Gemini, trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Now, you guys are also being advised that you need to open up your heart when it comes to something. Because Scorpio is trying to decide what it is they want right now, right? Clearly decide what you want right now. And Gemini, this situation is calling for you to have faith. You guys are not opening your hearts up, though. So how can you develop a relationship or come out of that false mask, which I feel like you're doing, but I feel like it's a hesitant type of energy. I don't know. Give me one more. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. This someone could be Scorpio who's returning from the past or Gemini. You have somebody coming from the past who wants to rekindle something with you. If it's not Scorpio, it's somebody else. What's the common energy between these two when it comes to love? Please, please tell me. 
Give me your energy, common energy, please. Separation. The time apart from your partner is on the horizon. If you guys are not separated yet, you probably will be. It looks like there's a Gemini that may want to, your Gemini may want to rekindle, reconcile. Uh, Scorpio's like, let go of control issues. Uh, a lot of situations, Scorpio's not going to let this unfold naturally. That's what it looks like. Not in this relationship. I don't know what was done here, but there's something that caused a separation. And Scorpio's like, no. No. Now, I don't know if that's good or bad. You guys might be dealing with a Gemini who, remember, first of all, there's something here with money where Scorpio did not get their finances, their funds or something like that having to do with money. And then we have Gemini coming across as a false person. So I'm thinking, no, Scorpio is probably not happy. Yes, yeah, Scorpio is going to do whatever they can. They're going to write to the government. They're going to tell on you. They're going to do whatever they got to do. But it's telling Scorpio to let go of control issues. I personally don't feel like that's control. I feel like that's you doing something about it. Take it how it resonates. All right, whatever Scorpio. I know what kind of Scorpio I am. Uh, I think once you start pissing on people and then telling them, oh, that's rain. That's not me pissing on you. I think that's when Scorpio reacts. Give me one more for Scorpio with this let go of control issues and love, please. Children, your love life is being affected by children. You guys might have children together. All right, and you're in separation. And we see that Gemini may want to reconcile, but Gemini is coming out of that false person energy. So maybe Gemini is changing something, but Gemini still has a closed heart. And Scorpio's like, you have a closed heart, but I deserve love. And soon I'm going to decide what I want to do with this whole thing. Gemini was like, trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. I feel like Gemini may need to have faith. Calling to have faith because it looks like Gemini, Gemini may want to reconcile. Or if this is not with you, um, Scorpio, this is somebody else that Gemini wants to reconcile with. Worth waiting for comes out reversed. Divine timing is at work in your love life. I feel like Gemini might have limited beliefs when it comes to that. I feel like there's this energy of I was a false person. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get this trust back. Something like that. Let's go ahead and get into it because this one, really, like I was saying, guys, is really not, um, it's really not that complicated of a read it's really not i do i do see where somebody is losing it right or scorpio you feel like gemini is losing it because i said tell me what your feelings are in this relationship that could be about your partner give me the common energy between these two please the courthouse somebody does not want to go to court so remember we have a gemini we have a scorpio who doesn't want anybody to know that they're going to court over a separation or they don't want to go to court. Like, I don't want to go to court over this. I don't. I want to reconcile, says Gemini. Uh. Scorpio, we have the Ace of Wands. It comes up for you. Some of you guys are operating in your masculine energy at this time. I see something with inspiration and good communication that comes in. You are um, making some sort of new plans here. There's something about new plans and new projects. And it's favored at this time. So you guys are being advised at some point. You were advised to go ahead and move along with the project. This project could have entailed a new trip or meeting with somebody to get the logistics, the details or something like that. Or this could simply be a getaway with your Gemini or a getaway. Some of you guys could be getting away or taking a trip with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Some of you guys could be doing business with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. However, and I don't know if this is your energy, Scorpio, but it's coming up into your line. The cards are saying that whoever you're dealing with, and by the text, I'm looking at this, it looks like this is Scorpio's feelings towards Gemini. Dangerous, if you believe this person's words. Now, it could be a Scorpio, but it's definitely a water energy if it's not Scorpio. So it's a water energy here. This person is dangerous with the Knight of Cups reverse here. This person is dangerous with their words. This person is a fantasist, right? So they don't believe in reality. They like, I don't know, dreaming up schemes or something like that. So we see something with a fantasist who's full of schemes. This person breaks promises to you, Scorpios. And ultimately, this Gemini that I'm showing is ultimately going to uh, deceive you. So it feels like it's talking about your Gemini who's going to deceive you. They're operating in emotional energy as they deceive you. It feels like this is being done on purpose. Now, for some of you guys, all of you, you're being advised not to trust this person. You're being advised in terms of this person's character. There's little substance to this person. This person is unloving. 
and they're not sensitive to the needs or feelings of other people, Scorpio. So that's something that you guys want to watch out for because I feel like initially there may have been some great communication. Could that have been an act? Absolutely, especially when we go into Knight of Cups, all right? Or this could be you, Scorpio, who was good at sweet talking and then you turn into the devil down here, right? Not being sensitive to other people's feelings or something like that. Now, I do feel like, per the text, this is Gemini, but it goes on to say that there's some imbalance here, right? So somebody's overwhelmed in this relationship. This could be you, Scorpio. Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed. For some of you guys, you feel bonded to others. Like, I can't do anything to get this person out of my energy. I can't do anything to get this person out of my life. I kind of get this energy like that. I feel like you guys may want to escape, but there is some disruptive ending that actually comes up. For some of you guys, this is... Feeling out of control. This is chaos. It's like excessive chaos. Always somebody doing something in the background or making you feel some kind of way, right? You just feel like things are getting out of control when it comes to this relationship. Some of you guys could be losing control over the children. For some of you guys, you have children that are witnessing this separation, going to a courthouse. I feel like you guys are trying to avoid this courthouse. The courthouse has come out reversed and I see Gemini might be trying to work on this. But we also see the death card that could suggest that there's going to be some kind of ending to this relationship, Gemini, with your Scorpio. Scorpio might be trying to end this. Hold on, y'all. That's coffee. Scorpio might be trying to end this connection. That's all I'm saying here. But the death card. Now, in tarot, the death card does not always foretell a physical death. But in some cases, it does, right? Hmm. It really depends on your situation. So we could be looking at somebody who's actually going to pass. This could foretell an actual death. The death card for Gemini is the end of a phase. It's the end of a relationship, which I believe this is the end of a relationship here. But I also see where this could be the end of a career, right? So a life phase, a relationship or a career could be ending for Gemini. For some of you guys, you could have lost your Scorpio. Now, it could be a loss as in Scorpio took off left or whatever happened here. But for some of you guys, you could actually lose a Scorpio, whatever that's about. Now, the cards are saying here that you guys have to accept some sort of change here, whether it be accepting the fact that a friend has betrayed you or you've grown away from them to the fact that you're in a committed relationship that restricts you, meaning, yes, I'm in a commitment with you. Gemini says to Scorpio, but I can't do anything. I can't move. For some of you guys, Gemini, you're being advised to break outdated ties. You guys are being advised that you need to change something. It's better to embrace something new coming in versus fighting it, right? There's something where this is a death of an old way of living, an old way of being, a situation, whatever this is for you. Now... We also see the hangman energy comes up here. And I'll go back and break these down at the end when I need to, right? There's some sort of betrayal, Gemini. But it says that you're betraying yourself in this relationship, right? You could be cheating yourself out of something. Some of you guys are literally shying away from some life-changing decision. You're shying away from it because it is uncomfortable for you to deal with. For some of you guys, it is about being uncomfortable. I feel uncomfortable dealing with this situation before people, right? It also says that there's some kind of expense involved that could be hindering your progress when it comes to something. So you guys are afraid of this life-changing decision because of discomfort or expense. The cards are saying here, Gemini, that you are under some serious anxiety. You guys are feeling it. You're anxious, jumping back. Things aren't the same. Some of you guys could be experiencing a little bit of paranoia there, but... It says that you are literally with the hangman reversed here. Some of you guys are waiting for somebody to make a decision for you. Some of you guys, this could be a court case where you're waiting for some, some sort of verdict to come out, waiting for a decision. For some of you guys, it says that you are a lover of people. For some of you, it says you need to work on your parenting skills because you haven't been a good parent. This speaks to a parent who is an absentee parent or not a great parent with the hangman reversed. This card also goes on to say that somebody may have misrepresented who they are, hence the false person, which is now reversed. I feel like somebody was found out or somebody's afraid that something's going to come out about a Scorpio. Something's going to come out about a Pisces and Gemini doesn't want that. I don't want this to come out. I don't want it to come out. Now, for some of you guys here, this is somebody who committed treason. Somebody's doing something. Committing treason is lying about something. Somebody probably took a trip abroad or went somewhere and lied. 
told something that wasn't true, gave some false documents. It was treason, told lie on your country, gave up a country secret. However, that goes for you. But there's going to be some sort of depth to this behavior, right? It's going to be a depth to you misrepresenting who you actually are. Now, when we go further down, I'm going to take this down here so you guys can see it. We have the Ace of Swords that actually comes up for you guys here. So I'm going to put these over here. We're going to put separation, right? And then we're going to put courthouse. Now, courthouse is in reverse because you guys don't want anybody to know about this court case. Or in most cases, you just don't want to go. Why? Because of the initial discomfort and also the expense that comes with it. The expense of lawyers, the expense of having to pay child support, the expense of spousal support. So some of you guys could not want to deal with those things. You'd rather stay together. But we also see here there's something with a whirlwind of activity that ends up happening for Gemini in this relationship. It also goes on to say that for some of you, this is you facing some fierce opposition, meaning people coming up against you. They don't like what you're doing. People are fighting you. The cards are saying that whoever this is fighting you, and this could actually be the law, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. It could be somebody fighting you. It could be another air sign fighting you, or it could actually be the law. It says here that you guys have fierce opposition. It says that you have people fighting against you. It says you need to sharpen your wits so that you can withstand the drama that is going to come with this. So I do feel like there's going to be a court case. I do feel like you're going to go have to speak to something. But it also says that you must go with sharp wits, right? So you can, because there's going to be a ton of challenges. There's going to be drama having to do with children, having to do with whatever else is going on here. But it talks about drama, challenges and drama that await. So I want to be clear. You guys, Gemini, are already in this situation, something having to do with a death. For some of you guys, you're having an ego death. For some of you guys, you can't get up off the couch because everybody in the world is talking about you or something's going to come out that can be shameful or some of you guys could even be sick and literally just can't get out the bed because of some sort of sickness. But for some of you, the cards are saying that it is best to deal with some situation, depending on what it is, with intellect. And it also goes on to say thought. So thought and intellect, and it's going to help you pass some sort of an exam. Now, an exam is nothing more than a test. It doesn't have to be the traditional test that we sit down in school and have. It doesn't mean that. It could actually be a life test. It could be how are you going to handle some situation here playing out with Scorpio but I do see where you guys are in separation. The common energy that plays out between you guys, right? So what is the common energy? There's this common energy of some sort of a water sign or water energy, love. Definitely a lot of emotion. You guys both want emotional fulfillment, right? But it also speaks to there being some sort of a pregnancy here. Somebody could be ending a relationship because there is a baby or some kind of kid that comes along with the eight of cups this is a new baby a new relationship a marriage a proposal somebody was a false person in a relationship but there's a child that comes out of it if i had to look at this further i would say that somebody did something had sex with somebody maybe a baby came out of it perhaps right this is about pregnancy this is motherhood that is a common energy that is coming in between you guys somebody could have cheated Somebody could have cheated with a Pisces. So Gemini, you could have cheated or ended a relationship with a Scorpio so that you could cheat with a Virgo. I'm going, oh, child. Some of y'all is cheating with a Virgo. So some of y'all could uh, cheat with a Pisces here, something like that. For some of you, there's this energy of somebody being cruel. You could have been cruel, Scorpio, to Gemini once you found out something about them in a Pisces. You could be being cruel to them. This could be your energy, right? Whatever the situation is, I feel like it has thrown Scorpio for a loop because you have the temperance card that comes out reversed. Now, we already established that children is going to be one of the main things in the reads that Scorpio is concerned with, right? So there's something about missing money, misappropriation of funds. I didn't get my finances. I didn't get my money. I didn't get my child support. We're separated. I'm not getting any money. I don't have any choice but to bring you to court because we have children, and for some of you, you have children waiting for your money or you have to go to court for money to take care of the kids. But then you turn around and somebody brought a baby home or you could be pregnant with another one. But I really feel like this could be something else. Somebody is pregnant. Either somebody's pregnant and it's you or Gemini or somebody, some third party came in here and they're pregnant. Somebody's trying to figure out what to do about this. How can I handle this situation? For some of you guys, this is about dishonesty. 
somebody was a victim of a situation or somebody's playing a victim with this energy here. Now, for some of you guys, it does speak to somebody being a traitor. This could be some connection overseas or something like that. Somebody from overseas could have lied to you. There could be a Scorpio out there who traveled somewhere, um, or it could be a Gemini, or even a, a Pisces that traveled somewhere, or whatever happened here, and they traveled as a false person misrepresenting documents. Now, again, Gemini, this is coming under your line, so maybe you falsified some paperwork. For some of you guys, you have paperwork that says you're a Scorpio when you're actually a Pisces, or something that says you're a Gemini when you're actually a Scorpio, or a Pisces, or something like that. There's something that's false here, something that is wrong, inaccurate. Do I feel like this is a third party? Could be, but it also could be a Scorpio who already has children with this Gemini, right? Being treated like crap and they're pregnant again. It could be something like that. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. All right. Uh, where do I want to go with this next? I want to get a conversation. All right, hold on. See, 25 minutes ain't that bad. I'll take it. I knew this one was going to be a little bit short. You guys are being advised to free yourselves. Both of you guys need to free yourselves from this situation. Find a way to work it out if this is about co-parenting. Uh, but this is also about a divorce and somebody not wanting to go. Worth waiting for. Gemini is like, listen, I don't know if divine timing is at work right now in my love life. But I do want to reconcile. But I don't know if it's going to work. I feel like there's some indecision that comes out here for some of you guys. Hang on. I'm going to get this conversation. I think this is a hidden... What are these? Because I've been trying to pull some different cards for the conversations. What is it? The Hidden Truth Oracle? Scorpio, what do you have to say to Gemini? Scorpio, what do you have to say to Gemini? I will tell you this. Gemini is the end of an old way. This could be the end of a relationship as you knew it with your Scorpio because of the death card. It could be somebody who is passing. Somebody could pass. All right. Somebody could pass in your life. It could be a Pisces that passes in your life or Gemini. This could be you. Maybe you guys recently had some sort of a loss here. Scorpio. I'll take it from right there first. All right. I wish I could share my good news with you. Scorpio's like, I wish I could share my good news with you. It's reversed. Scorpio can actually share their good news with you, but I don't think they're going to. Hold on, let's put this down here so we can see these cards. All right, let's go. Give me more. Scorpio, what else do you have to say to your Gemini? Let me shuffle these up a little bit. What do you have to say to Gemini in this relationship, Scorpio? What's up, Scorpio? You speak to me through music. So Scorpio is acknowledging that there's some connection here through music. So I don't know, Gemini, maybe you sing, maybe you make music or something like that. But Scorpio is like, I dig the music. I feel like you're talking to me. All right, I feel like this is, I don't know what this is. Give me one more. Scorpio, what do you have to say to Gemini? We both know I am not the one for you. So Scorpio's like, listen, yes, you speak to me through music, but we're not compatible. We both know that. I'm not the one for you. Wow. All right. And for some of you guys, this could be somebody else who has a child and you're just not what you're just like this new kid coming because it says new baby. Some of you guys are just like, I'm not here for it. I'm not the one having a kid. I want you to go enjoy your life with your kid, raise the kid, make sure you are there for the kid. For some Scorpios, the kids are way more important. Like, go do your thing with the kids. I, for, for some Scorpios, we just don't want to be bothered with the nonsense that comes along with it because if you got all this drama... Scorpios don't like too much drama. I, I, we don't. We like to be low-key. We don't want to be out here with all this nonsense in the courthouse. And But you guys have to realize you have some really nasty, negative energies that don't mind going to the courthouse, right? The text for uh, some people is they like, they love drama. And Scorpio ain't about that life. So many things remind me of you, says Gemini. There's a lot of things that remind... Gemini, abuse Scorpio. I feel you even though we are apart. I don't feel you even though we are apart. Gemini is saying that they don't feel close to you. At one point, I feel like they did, even when you guys are apart. But it says that's not the case anymore. Give me one more. I want to feel that way again. I do not want to feel that way again. 
We both know I'm not for you. I don't want to feel this way again. You speak to me through music. I feel you even though we are apart. In some cases, I just don't feel you. I don't feel you when we're apart. Dear Jim and I might not even think about you when you guys are not together. It's like, oh, no big deal. It says this person is a false person. They could be out doing anything, right? Or this could be your energy towards Scorpio, Gemini. Give me the common energy between these two because I feel like these cards are not impactful enough. Um, give me the common energy. It's time for me to heal now. Both of you guys are saying, listen, we're separated. We don't want to go to court, but it's time to heal. Some of you guys are going to step back from this situation so you can go ahead and heal from it and not be bothered with this nonsense. Hold on, let me see if I can find some more cards. I want more cards because these are not. Give me a conversation, please, because I really don't feel like, you know, I feel like this is, I don't know, it's too quick. That's probably, I was telling you guys, that's probably why I don't use them. <clears throat> There's some cards over time that just don't have any impact, you know. I mean, if I were to pull them another way, yeah, but in terms of a conversation, I just don't think these are effective the way I, I want them to be. I do, I'm able to pull out certain things, but I really feel like these cards could be something that could set the tone for reading, right? Versus using them as a conversation. So Scorpio, what's up? Give me more. What's up? Scorpio, they have hurt me. They have not hurt me. You thought you hurt me, but you have not hurt me, Gemini. I'm still going to excel. I'm still going to do this and I'm still do that. You ain't stopped like that, right? Scorpio, what else do you have to say to Gemini, please? They have not stopped you. I don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better. Maybe you're the Scorpio on the read who is doing some F stuff, right? You deserve better. Scorpio is acknowledging that they don't want to be who they used to be. And maybe there was some folly in this relationship at some point. Give me one more from Scorpio. Came up reverse. Will this ever change? This will never change. Scorpio acknowledges that the dynamic of this relationship is most likely not going to change. Scorpio says, we have to move past this. Let's go to the courthouse. We're separated. I know I don't want to go to the courthouse either, but we kind of got to. That's the only way anybody's going to be able to move forward from this situation is going to the courthouse. And to be honest with you, I don't, I don't know. I don't look like the court case is going to go in somebody's favor, obviously. But... It also just shows me that there are two people here that don't really want, I don't want to go to court, but you have to. It looks like based off what you're saying here, it looks like you have to go to court. Um, Jim and I, what's going on? Give me a conversation. What do you have to say to Scorpio? You don't deserve better than me. Here we go. You don't deserve better. I'm the best you going to get. Give me more. please. I mean, if you're talking crap on the... On the side of the one who's been treated wrong, I totally get that. But if you're just talking crap from the park bench, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work. All right. I'm afraid to lose you, says Gemini. You don't deserve better than me, but I'm afraid to lose you. Give me more. I can't express myself. Yeah, you guys have a Gemini here who is low tight. They can't really say too much. I feel like this person is restricted. I feel like this person is limited. Now, let, let me just take you back there. Under the death card with Gemini, right here. It says here from, let's see, from a friend that you've grown away from to a commitment that has restricted you. So some of you guys can't even move in this relationship. Some of you guys feel tied in. Maybe it's too much traditionalism for you. Maybe you guys aren't as traditional as maybe a Scorpio or maybe maybe you're just not as disciplined or something like that, whatever this is. But for some of you guys, you literally just might feel smothered by your Scorpio. I cannot express myself. I'm afraid to lose you, but I can't express myself. I feel like there's a Gemini who has something that they want to tell a Scorpio. All right. Give me more, please. Maybe you guys want to, because there's drama coming up, and it looks like the drama is going to take place in the courthouse. What's the common energy for these two? It hurts so much. It doesn't hurt as much anymore. I feel like you guys are in an area of acceptance. For some of you, you're accepting some situation here where it doesn't hurt as much. All right. Some of you guys are like, listen, just like Jim realized that I'm afraid to lose you. I can't express myself, but the common energy is it hurts so much, but I feel like you guys are healing from it. I feel lonely is also a common energy between you guys. So this could have been a codependent relationship, but I still feel like somebody went somewhere else and seeked, um, adventure somewhere else i don't know who i am anymore i feel like both you guys are going through hell in this situation and it's making you question everything 
Whew. All right, hold on. Let me put these away. See, I told y'all this wasn't really going to be a long one. All right, let's see. Let me put these away over here. These over here. Now. Scorpio. You guys could be dealing, if we were to look at this in terms of not a relationship, but situations that bring us to where we are today with Gemini, some of you guys could have been dealing with this masculine energy who could be a Leo, uh, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius here. There's something with communication. Somebody communicated something with you. They wanted to open up a new business with you, start something. For some of you, there was an Aries Leo Sagittarius that may have wanted a family with you, something about a new family, a new trip, or... They wanted to take you away on a trip. Sorry about all this moving, but it is what it is. Um, now, for some of you guys, you're dealing with this water energy or you had some encounter with this water energy here who is a dangerous person, right? They're full of schemes. Scorpio, somebody could have tried to get you caught up in something having to do with a scheme. It could have been the Knight of Cups, somebody who's moody, right? So you don't get the same person every time you see them. They're always different, right? This person could be a little bit of a jerk, but also have unrealistic expectations when it comes to something, right? So we see that. This person is nasty. This person could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio that you guys are dealing with, and they're not very kind to you. But we also have this energy here with the Temperance card. You guys could be dealing with a Cancer. You guys could have a Cancer in your energy who's showing up is overwhelmed. This person is under so much pressure to cope. And it looks like it is vital that this person deal with their debt. So somebody that you guys are dealing with in your energy is sucking you dry when it comes to money, or this could be you. Remember, Scorpio's main concern was this unexpected income, which was actually expected, right? So we have that. Another breakdown, Gemini, this could be the end of a life phase for you. For some of you guys, you want to check your health. For some of you guys, you are going to have some kind of a loss, but I would advise you to check your health, whatever this is about. Um, hmm. The death card is also speaks to a situation where there's going to be these big life changes. The death card is a major arcana card. So, of course, there's going to be some big life change that comes with it. All right. There's going to be something that you guys need to accept. It could be changes in friends or changes in dynamics of the relationship here or something like that. So we see that. Now, we have the hangman energy that comes out reversed. Gemini, you guys might have a Pisces in your, in your energy that committed some sort of treason. Somebody misrepresented something. And because of the discomfort and the, the expense that it's going to cost you or this Pisces, you guys are reluctant to jump into something to talk about it because you have anxiety behind this. It's something you don't want people to know. But it also says that because of this situation here with a death, right, where somebody is waiting for trial or waiting to be tried because that's what this is also. You have a Pisces here who's waiting for somebody to make a decision, it could be about a trial date or it could be some sort of a judgment. You guys are waiting for a decision about a Pisces. We also have here, it could be a Libra, Aquarius or Gemini energy coming up for you, a whirlwind of activity. Somebody's fighting against you, Gemini. It could be another air sign. In some cases, you guys could be fighting against yourselves here, but you could specifically be fighting against a Scorpio. And a Pisces, Gemini. So those two water signs, those are some hard ones, right? It says something about a whirlwind of activity for you guys, but also needing to keep your wits sharp when dealing with these energies. So we see that. But it does say that whoever you're dealing with, which could be the law or it could be a Libra Aquarius or another Gemini, something is being done with intellect and also thought. Now, the common energy in a person or energy coming up as common between you guys is going to be love. It's going to be emotion. It's going to be emotional fulfillment. It's going to be pregnancy, right? Something with motherhood. I don't feel like you guys are together. This could be the surprise in a relationship. This could be the surprise that kills a relationship. Whether it be you guys having a baby together at a bad time in your relationship. You know, some people are on the verge of breaking up and then, oh, I'm pregnant. I'm not saying anybody did it on purpose. I'm just saying that somebody probably got pregnant at a very challenging time in a relationship so it could be somebody else or it could be one of you guys that got pregnant whatever that's about um or there could be another libra there could be another cancer pisces or scorpio who turns up pregnant whatever that's about for you but i do see some endings happening there's three 
major arcanas that come up in this overall read. For Scorpio, it says that you found out some information and it kind of threw you, it threw you off because the Temperance card is reversed here. So it totally threw you off. This is imbalance. It's some sort of a surprise that happened, something you weren't expecting. And I feel like it really rocked your world in a sense. I feel like you guys are healing and recovering from it, but I think it really got you. For some of you guys, this could have been a death. This could have been a death of a spouse, the death of a partner, a relative, something like that. For some of you guys, it could have been a death of a Pisces. Whatever's going on here, I feel like there's some big surprise coming up, but there's some revelations had. Whatever that's about for you guys. I feel like you guys are fighting somebody who's dangerous here. Could be the law. Whatever this situation is, whatever this new baby is, it drives you into separation. I want to be realistic. Lots of couples will be married or be together for a long time. They'll have a baby and the baby changes the whole dynamic of the situation. For good or bad, whether you guys are together or not, babies sometimes change the dynamic. Like, I don't have all the world to focus on you anymore. I have to focus on my baby too. Right, And you do have some people that become jealous. It is documented. You have some people that become jealous of newborns. Somebody could also be suffering from postpartum here also, whoever this person is. But I do feel like somebody is leaving a relationship and possibly going over somewhere else. Whatever that's about. Hmm, I'm glad that one was quick. I think that's it, guys. I'm going to let you guys go. I want to thank you guys so much. For tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot, like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, please. Yeah, it does feel like Scorpio is bouncing for a better gig, right? I do feel like Gemini's got some stuff that they need to deal with. Whatever is going on here, it's the death of an old way, old life, and end of an era for you. Somebody's going to get caught up for treason. Somebody's going to get caught up for lying. This doesn't have to be you, Gemini. This could be your Scorpio getting caught up for this, or it could be a Pisces. I really think there's some fear here. You don't want something to come out. You don't want somebody to find something out. But the cards say you're in the middle of drama, and the cards also say that you need to be able to withstand more drama that comes up. It awaits. It's waiting for you. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys. I love you. I will see you guys soon. Bye.